Science Activity Book, page 59, 61, and 62. Page 59, as usual, you need to write the date here. Okay, let's read the instruction. Spray and observe. Name the type of soil based on its contents. So let's see what are the contents and then you need to fill in the blanks here. Contents of garden soil. Contents of sand. From the video, we learned that garden soil contains twigs, dry leaves, stones, roots, small animals, and sand particles. And sand contains small stones and sand particles. Okay, so picture 59. Okay, let's look at the pictures here. Soil particles, twig, small stones, dry leaf, and small animal. So this should be garden soil. Okay, next. Sand particles and also small stones. This must be sand. And the last one, very fine soil particles. The answer is clay. Page 60, let's test soil content. So this is a simple experiment to check the soil content. What do we need? Apparatus and materials clay, garden soil, and sand, all the three types of soil that we learn, and also the large jars with lids. Okay, this is jars with lids. So let's see what are the steps. Label the jars with sand, garden soil and clay. Then put the soil into the jars.
Add a tablespoon of detergent powder. Pour some water into each jar. Stir up each mixture. Tighten the lids and shake the three jars. Leave the jar for 30 minutes. To get better results, leave it overnight. Observe the content of the three jars and complete the question in your science activity book. These are the results after I leave the jars overnight. As you can see here, there are different layers appearing for each soil. The bottom layer will be the heavier particles, such as stones and sands. The next layer will be the silt particles. Above that, there are the clay particles or the very fine soil particles. Organic matter such as the decaying plants or animals may be floating on the surface of the water. The color of the soil gives a clue to its character. Light colors usually have less organic content than dark soil. Can you name each layer? Okay, now page uh, 61. Fill in the blanks and name the type of soil in the jars. So here we have three jars. Okay, three types of soil. And the answers are all here.
Okay, very fine. Soy particles, sand particles, clay, small stones, garden soil, decaying plants, and also sand. So look at this. Uh, first, a jar, water, and this must be very fine soil particles here. So you cross the answer here, and you write the answer. Okay, very fine soil particles and water. So this should be clay. Okay, next. There are lots of uh, things here. Okay, you can see the decaying plants, decaying animals, uh, small stones. Okay, so decaying plants should be here. You can see the leaf, right? Okay, the decaying plants and animals are floating. Okay, this is small stones, so this uh, should be sand particles. Okay, you write the answer here. So, this is garden soil. Okay, garden soil. Uh, contain uh, small stone, sand particles, decaying animals, and also decaying plants. Okay, the last one, water, sand particles. Okay, there are two answers left here. Small stones and also sand. So the layer here. This is small stones. And this should be sand. And then page 62, separate the soil content. The picture below shows the content of a type of a soil. Label the correct soil content. So the answers are here. Dry leaf, small animal, twig, stones, and also sand particles. So look at this picture. Okay, this is dry leaf and then this is small animal what about this so three answers left twig stones and also sand particles okay twig here and then this is Okay, stones and also sand particles here. This soil is garden soil. Okay, as we know, garden soil contain dry leaf, a small animal, stones, sand particles, and also twig. Okay, so that's all. Don't forget to turn in your Task in Google Classroom. Thank you.